After your Riddell sales rep ships your team's equipment to a Riddell reconditioning facility, a service contract is generated that details what needs to be replaced or changed. This contract also includes any cosmetic changes you'd like to make, such as new face masks, coloring, or decals. Next, we carefully identify your equipment as your equipment. A unique account number is placed on every piece of your equipment, and we double count each item, ensuring that our total matches the total on the contract you submitted through your Riddell sales wrap. We pride ourselves on handling your equipment carefully and accurately. This process of checks and balances occurs nine times during the reconditioning and recertification process. After the initial count and registry, we remove each face mask and any dated hardware from the helmet's exterior. Removing these items is very important as it allows for the helmet to be thoroughly inspected for cracks and shell deterioration. All helmet decals are removed by hand. This time-consuming process allows for further shell inspection and prepares the helmet for exterior shining and painting. Your helmets are then buffed by our high-speed buffing wheels to remove large nicks, streaks, and grooves. Next, the helmets are sanded to remove the smaller imperfections and create a smooth, blemish-free surface. Players invest a significant amount of sweat equity into their helmets, so Riddell incorporates a thorough sanitization process. The helmets are loaded into a special helmet washing machine uh, where they're uh, clean, sanitized, goes through a number of stages of washing. We clean and sanitize all helmets with hot pressurized water to get out the months of grime and perspiration players leave behind. Your helmets then go to a climate controlled room where they'll dry. After the sanitization process is complete, your helmets are closely inspected for hairline cracks and other defects. Next, the interior padding of your helmets are reinstalled and, if necessary, replaced with new padding. Every inch of the helmet is visually inspected and each quarter of the helmet is tested in strict adherence to the NOXIC recertification test procedure. Before heading to the final paint room, the inside of the helmet is protected from overspray. Then a spin through the conveying spray booth provides a smooth finish. Only approved paints and polishes are applied. After painting, your helmets return to a climate-controlled room in order to dry. Each face mask is inspected for broken wells, distortion, and exposed metal. All reusable masks are reinstalled, and new masks and hardware are installed to replace any rejected masks as per your instructions. Riddell is the first reconditioner to use Noxy drop test equipment, which simulates the impact a player would feel running into a solid barrier at over 12 miles per hour. A statistical sample of the helmets is taken and they're subjected to what's called the Noxy drop test, which is a, an impact performance test. At any point during the reconditioning process, helmets that cannot be repaired or fail to meet the Noxy standards are set aside and clearly marked with the word reject. After passing all nine inspections and tests, the labels placed inside each helmet meeting the Noxy standards, along with the year of recertification. Warning labels are also placed on the rear and interior of each helmet. Next, your team decals can be applied to your reconditioned and recertified helmets. Jaw pads and chin straps, having been cleaned and sanitized separately from the helmets, are thoroughly inspected and reattached. Defective jaw pads and chin straps are replaced. Your finished helmets are now ready for our last quality control. Each helmet is visually inspected and placed in a poly bag and ready for packaging and shipping.